Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your Monday is going great and your week is off to a great start. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, I have a fun project to share with you. We're going to create a Christmas card. Today we're going to be using a die set from Stampendous. This is called Peace Dove. And the neat thing about this die set is it creates a dove ornament that you can add to holiday gifts, hang on Christmas trees. It's super cute. I'll, um, I'll show you how to make one really quickly, but I do want to make a card with this set too. So I'll do both just to show you what this die set can do. And then I'm also going to be bringing in the Season of Wonder Sentiment stamp set. The die set has peace, so we'll use the peace on our out, the outside of our card. But for the inside, this is going to be a great stamp set for that because all the greetings are a little bit more um, hearty, I would say, and go perfect on the inside of cards. So we'll be using this. I'm thinking about may the gentle falling snow bring peace to your family dear and may joys ever grow throughout the coming year. I just think that's just beautiful. We're going to add a little snowfall in our background so that's going to go perfect. So let's start by doing a little bit of die cutting. The greenery in here is really pretty too. I thought for the Christmas tree, which is not in here, <laughs> I actually took it out, but we're going to be die cutting this out with blue cardstock, kind of going out of the traditional norm. And then I have a piece of Spellbinders vellum, and we're going to die cut out some flourishes here. This larger one I'm going to die cut out with green. I'll cut this out twice. For my greeting, the piece, I'm using some glitter cardstock. This is from Spellbinders Treasured cardstock. Such a nice pack because it has a variety of gold, so you can kind of pick and choose. And we're using the glitter that's in here. And we'll die cut out our piece. There is another greeting in here that says to you and yours that's on the line. Really nice, but we're not going to use that um, for the card today. Now this is our larger dove, and then there's also three more doves in here. I'm going to die cut this out with white cardstock. Now since I'm not creating an ornament, um, when I die cut this out, this is an open end here. On, on this wing of the dove, it's open ended. So when I cut this out, it's still going to be attached to the cardstock. But I just snip it away with my scissors. Um, but I am going to take a piece of cardstock that I just folded in half and I'm going to die cut this out right at the fold line. Actually, I'm right at the fold line. You just tape it down and I'll run this through my die cut machine like this. And then there is this little piece that's a hanger that you can hang your ornament on. So I'll cut out two doves, one of the wings here, one wing here, and remember we're on the fold line. And I will run everything through and I'll be right back. Now that I have everything die cut out, I want to share with you first how to create that ornament. Okay, this is on the fold line. The wing is, so you can see it opens up. And then what I do is, there's a slit in our dove. that you just slide it through like so. See how dimensional this is? And then I did put a brad or an eyelet through the little tag piece. The little tag piece, all you do is add a little glue at the bottom and then you would attach this. I have some gold twine here and all you would do is I loop it and then thread it through. And then I can tie another knot at the top. If I have a little overhanging, I just trim them away. But you see how pretty these would be? Let me show you. And then that's the ornament. It's kind of hard because you can you see how pretty that is? You would just hang that on the tree. Or even a gift box would be nice. So pretty, huh? See, if this were wrapping paper, you would just maybe attach it to your present. I think that would be really pretty. 
Okay, so there's our little dove. And then if I cut it in half, all I would do is thread this through. And then if you want a little dimension, you could put a foam square to attach it. Just remove the release paper and you can tack it down like so. And there's your dove. So cute. Okay, I am going to put a piece of black cardstock behind my little dove's eye. Actually, I don't have to do that. I always forget that I can do that. I'm going to put a black foam square. It's just easier. And you know, a lot of times people say, well, is the, um, am I worried about the tackiness? Not really, because... I mean, there's a little tackiness there, but I don't think it's big enough to attach to anything. So using black foam squares are nice, especially for this size. I have a little overhanging I do want to trim off, though. Okay, I do want to do a little bit of ink blending. So I'm going to bring in... For my blue tree, I have two different colors of inks. I'm going to add sky blue, which is the lighter. If you wanted to use your Distress Oxide inks, you could use that too. And I'm going to add some color. I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to add the lighter ink all around the edges. I haven't used this in a while, but this is Bellbinder Splatter White. And I'm just going to add a little bit to my craft desk. Okay, little goes a long way with this. And then, using my water brush, I'm going to add some water. Thin it out. And then we'll do a little splattering in our background. Wonderful. Now I'm going to clean up my surface and I'm going to set this aside to dry. For my dove, I'm going to be using a gray ink. I just want to go subtle, add a little bit of color to my wings, and then maybe the belly of my dove. Maybe I'll add some, I want to rosy up my dove's cheeks and add a little pink. So I'm going to use my RV00 marker. And that's all there is to that. And we'll add a little bit of green. I may have enough of ink on my blending brush. Nope, I'm going to bring in a little bit more. So this is Grassy Knoll ink from Pink Fresh Studio. And I'm just going to add some dark edges. Now I want my dev to be holding this little leaf. So I'm going to add a little glue here. And right at the beak of my dev, I'll do a little tap with it. And I'll let that secure. For my background on my card, I'm going to go real soft and elegant today. I'm going to be using the Starshine background. This is um, a cover plate die. It's really pretty. And I'm going to put this. There's a die that will cut out in the A2 panel. But I'm just going to take this and then I will take my card base. I'll open it up. And I will run this through my die cut machine. Isn't that pretty? And this is what the inside looks like. It's a little bit rough, but I don't mind it. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to add a little bit of green ink on the very bottom of my card base. Just a real light amount and then I'll fade up a little bit. Just real soft. Okay, I think I may need to help this along. So I'm going to heat this up with my heat gun and I'm going to put foam tape behind here. And then I'll pop this up and put it on my card base. Once I have this adhered, I'm going to open up my card base and we're going to stamp our greeting on the inside. Ahead and stamp our greeting. Wonderful. I want to 
take my vellum leaves here and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue at the base. I'm going to wipe a little bit off and I'm going to tack this down to my tree. Wonderful. So they have a little bit of a free flowing feel to them. I'm going to flip over my dove. I'm going to put foam tape behind here. I'm going to layer it right over the vellum. We'll tack this down. And then I will finish off this card using some Spellbinders Peach Opalescent sequins. We're going to add a little bit of sparkle around that tree, give it a little extra color. And that finishes off my card for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a lovely day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.